I'm Dudley Harris. We have NextGen in our office, and to put it mildly, I'm crazy about this program. I'm going to show you briefly how I like to use this program and how it, uh, how it works for me. So the first thing that I do when I walk in the room to see the patient, I greet the patient, look directly at the patient, shake hands, I'm Dr. Harris, and so forth. Then I, the patient's sitting in the chair and I say to the patient, I'm going to just take a look at your notes on the computer screen. Then I turn away from the patient and I look at the screen. Now, the technician has already called up this screen for me, and this screen is called Provider Start. It, it's a screen which gives almost all the information that you need to know about the patient. It gives the, um, it gives the chief complaint from the last visit, the chief complaint from this visit. It tells you who saw the patient last and what the impression was and what the plan was. That was for the visit before this visit today. It gives you today's refraction and last visit's refraction so you can easily compare right and left eye. In this screen, the IOP is not filled in, but usually it's filled in here and you can see the IOP and this is for every visit that the patient has ever had. You can run right down the list and compare IOP very easily. Then as you move down the screen, it tells you uh, what happened in the past. It tells you what the ocular disease is, uh, other procedures, ocular medications, systemic medications, past systemic history. So everything is on this one screen. That's usually all that I look at. So I look at this screen, I get that in mind, and then I turn back to the patient and I say, what brings you to see me today? Or how are you getting along with your vision? Then the patient gives me the history. I take the history, so I ask the patient. The patient talks to me, and I take the history. Once I get the history, then I say, okay, very good. I'm just going to make a few notes on the computer, and then we'll do the examination. Then I turn back to the screen, and I usually go to the chief complaint uh, uh, template. Okay, this, the chief complaint is blurry vision. Okay, uh, so, so uh, blurry vision. And, and there's, the technician has already filled in some notes here, but as you know, the technician often cannot get the essence of the patient's complaint. And I love this because I can just uh, click on that and I can free text I can free text right here by just touch typing and uh, I can then give a sense of what's actually bothering the patient. And when I take a history, let's say I take a history for giant cell arteritis, I can put in the pertinent negatives. You don't have to look up a drop down list for every single thing. You need something because the computer needs to ha at least have a diagnosis that it recognizes. It won't recognize your free text. But it will, so you need a you need a, you need to put in something there from the drop down menus, but that's why I love to do the free texting. Then, after I make my notes, then I turn back to the patient, and I do the examination. Then, uh, it, while I'm doing the examination, I'm usually dictating to the scribe what to type or what to put in uh, uh, the pressure and so forth. Then, after I finish uh, the examination, then I can turn back to the uh, screen and I can add anything I want to the exam. But usually what I do uh, is, I don't need to do that, so what I'll do is go to the uh, impression and plan. In some cases, I'll have the scribe go ahead and enter the, uh, what I want from the impression and plan, but 
Uh, oftentimes, uh, I, will, I will free text here. Let's say, for example, that the patient has a little bit of cataract. If you send a note to the PCP, to the doctor who referred the patient to you, and say the patient has nuclear sclerosis, or what the drop-down menu would say, cataract nuclear sclerosis OU. Okay, so that, that the computer will no, have a code for that. But what is that going to mean to the, to the PCP? Can the patient see? Or what's, what's going on? So then you can just free text, but this is not hurting the vision and doesn't need surgery now. So now then the PCP has a clear view of what's actually happening to his patient. Then you click, you have a plan, and you, I often free text that follow. You just click on and click on this. You can do a drop down menu for these things. Very simple to do. And then, uh, then I am finished with the computer at that point. So the scribe is here sitting where I am right now. And then I turn back to the patient and I say, uh, now then I finished the examination and let's talk about what I find. So I, then I tell the patient what I find what the findings mean, and what the plan is. So uh, I'm not looking back at the computer while I'm talking to the patient. And while I'm looking at the computer, I'm not talking to the patient. It's very, very important to separate those two actions because you, the patient doesn't want to see you typing and talking to the patient at the same time. That's bad form. You don't want to do that. Once I'm finished talking to the patient and say, do you have any questions, then I am done because the technician or the scribe is sitting here and they're hitting the coding button and the coding tells, what's, uh, tells what I did, sends the bill, and then they hit letter to the referring doctor and that comes up and it tells the doctor what I did to the patient and what the diagnosis is, that sort of thing. And it has my free text in there both from the chief complaint, if I free texted there, and in the impression and plan. It has that in there also. So the letter to the PCP, it codes the visit, it gives it an ICD-9 code, which they like very much, and it also gives them a, a, an explanation in English so they can understand that. And uh, then uh, the, the bill is sent, everything's done, and facts to the PCP, I don't do anything else. I never see that chart again until the patient comes back and, I, and I'm sitting there in front of the patient. It was extremely uh, easy to use uh, and it's, uh, it, it is, you can see that it would be a lot faster to scribble down something on a piece of paper, but this has all the information uh, just beautifully displayed and it takes effort but if you have a scribe, and you realize you do have to have a scribe to make it terribly efficient or extremely efficient, but if you have a scribe, you can do these, uh, do these visits, and it's, uh, and it's just the best way that uh, I have ever found to do medical record. And I think you, you might consider doing it just like this.